I'd rather have the cash, because then what do I do with that cash? I turn it into mo cash. Hello everybody, Drew here, tip of the Mitt Flips, where every 100 subscribers, there's a giveaway. So if you're watching, make sure you're subscribed so you have a chance to win. I have 21 orders going out today for about $400, $425, somewhere in that range. And I think 21 orders is my record for the amount of orders in a day, but I'm not positive. It's not something I keep track of, but I don't think 21 I've gotten to that point yet before. Who knows? Seems like a high number. I'm going to say most sales I've had in a day. First thing going out is on A4. It is a Vove. Vove, Vove, Vove. Vove, I think it's Vove. Uh, Brute Champagne uh, bottle cover type thing. It's this right here. I've sold one of these before, so when I saw another one at a garage sale, I picked it up. It's not a ton of money, but... It has a track record of selling and not taking that long. If you price it right, I took an offer, $11.89 free shipping. It'll go first class and I'll probably just put it in an envelope. I don't think, I mean, even if it gets flattened, I think it'll just rebound back. I don't think there's anything that could really be damaged. So I'm pretty sure that's how I'll package that up. Also, the mug from the last video where... It was for local pickup, and I reached out to him. I sent him three messages on three separate days. No no response, so I just canceled the order. I I don't know. You you probably should reach out to eBay first, blah, blah, blah. That's not worth the hassle for me. I'll take whatever consequences come from just canceling the order, but that's what I did. I also had another person last night purchase one of those black and white TVs that I said, why am I buying these? I've got three for sale, and I've sold zero. And I, they picked local pickup. And I said, hey, you've picked local pickup. You know, when would you like to schedule? And they're like, I didn't pick local pickup. I need it delivered. I said, okay, well, you did. But so I was like, I can cancel it for you, relist it. Just make sure you pick the right shipping this time, da, 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 da. They said, okay. They haven't purchased it again. They had zero feedback. So they probably just knew to the eBay system and didn't know what they were doing. And not like they were a scammer or anything. And they might have bought my, well, they might buy mine again. They might buy somebody else's again. I don't know. But unfortunately, that's what happened. After that, on B4, vintage Tupperware cereal bowl type of thing right here. Set of three in a mustard yellow. I've never seen this style before where it's got this lip on the bottom. I'd only seen the ones where it's flat here. Um, before we had those as a kid for cereal and what have you, but I'd never seen them with the extra the extra little lip I don't know. I don't know what that's about. Does that make it a soup bowl or something? I'm sure Tupperware had a reason for it does it even say still says, says cereal salad bowl I don't know. So maybe nobody knows uh, $9.99 free shipping. That'll go first class next uh, We got on B2, but I have one right here because i know i sold more than one so i went out to storage and i grabbed some extras it is let me flip it around here lego advent calendar star wars edition and these ones you see i paid nine dollars these ones were the best out of the huge lot that i bought i sold through all the my friends i think it's called and the lego city so all i have left is the harry potter and the Star Wars, but most of them were like $19.99, $17.99, something like that. But these ones are selling for $40.99 plus shipping. And I looked, mine is not the cheapest, but I do the 1.1% promoted listing. So mine is the first listing. So I actually, I think, sold three of those today. So this is the first one. And I'm, I was trying to figure out why. And I think this is it. I think this is why they're selling for so much. It comes with a Darth Vader, if I can zoom in a little more, Darth Vader in a Christmas sweater. So I'm thinking that's where the money's at. I'm not positive, but that's probably, if I looked it up, I bet you this little figure sells for about half the price of this whole thing. But they're one of those $40.99 plus shipping. Very easy to pack. They just go in a box that fits them perfectly. And then next up, my favorite, running out of them though, plain wooden chess piece in A to A basket right here. It is this one right here, a uh, rook, right? That's what it's called? Yeah, 
white rook right there. And it was either on sale or the, I took an offer, but $7.64 free shipping. That's about as cheap as I can go on those. It's first class, and it cost me nothing basically for them, and I've made my money on them by far, by far. But just below that makes it a little, you know, towards the not worth your time type of thing. Especially depending on where it's going, because if it's going to California from where I am, first class is actually a little, you know, it's like a dollar more than if it's next door. So that can make a big difference. Next, we've got Starman on VHS, new in package right there. And that went for $6 free shipping. Original price at Walmart, $6.96. They got a discount. I've never seen that movie, Jeff Bridges, so it's probably pretty good. After that, I think in this basket, Stamina Aero Pilates. I had sold the rods the other day from this thing, and I said I'd, I'd sold the DVDs from it and the bands and all kinds of stuff. Paid five bucks for all of it and make it out like a bandit. And I think it's these ones. I'll have to double check, but they bought two, and that is it. Um, so for a set of two, $29.74 free shipping. Can't believe how much that's worth. Not something that I'm going to probably come across very often, but if I ever come across Pilates anything, or even a Pilates machine that somebody's just trying to get rid of, there's no way I'm going to try to sell the Pilates machine. I'm just going to take it apart. I'll scrap the the big chunks and just anything that's a bit or, pe bit or piece or part or a screw, I'm listing all that. Then we have got a couple things today that have been really long tail. I mean, I've had this in my store for a year and a half plus. This next item, Pictionary, the game on A2. Had this in my store, probably getting close to a year. See if I can move things and put them back without forgetting or damaging them. Here we go. Pictionary. It's basically just the classic Pictionary. First edition, actually, it says. So that's the first edition of Pictionary. 1104 plus shipping. I went on a kick with games. I thought that's where I thought that's where my money was gonna be at. I was convinced that I was just going to buy up all the board games, just stack them high, just have tons of them. But the the turnover is very low because there's millions of these things. So that really wasn't worth it. I should have just parted all of them out and it would have taken up a fraction of the space, a little more time, probably more money, though. I, I don't know. Just wasn't wasn't the money maker I expected to be. 1104 plus shipping, if I didn't say after that, we got another Lego Star Wars Advent Calendar for $40.99 plus shipping. And what I also did is after these few sold, I went into the listing and I took best offer off. And then once I sell a couple more, I'm actually going to go back in and raise the price because it's getting closer to the season. People actually want to buy these. So I could suck a couple more dollars out of each of them. So $40.99 plus shipping. And then took an offer here, PlayStation 3, um, PS3, Guitar Hero, Guitar, untested. And I'm 100% convinced that this works, but I didn't have the cordless wireless dongle to test it. So therefore it is untested, but I have no doubt that that works. It was very clean. So $29.74 plus shipping. And actually, it's kind of funny. They sent me an offer, I think $20, and 20% 20 off was $29.99. And I said, I went back with $29.99, sorry, 20% 20 off is the best I can do. But now that I'm looking, I clearly accidentally typed in $29.74. I don't know how, but that's what happened. Next up, uh, Hard Knock Life, volume two, right here which I don't think Hard Knock Life was the name of his first album. So that doesn't make sense to me, but maybe it is. I guess I don't recall, but Jay-Z, uh, $5.94, free shipping. That will go medium mail. And then here's another one of those ones I've had listed forever. Finally sold this week, so that's great. Uh, New American Bible, um, Catholic Youth Bible down here. 
It looks brown in the listing, but it's green. So that's weird. I think I disclosed that it's green, so that doesn't matter. Uh, sixteen ninety nine plus shipping. So that's that's how long that's been listed. That that's back when I still was putting shipping on media ma mail items. I also at some point had to go back through and change everything I listed me as media mail was at priority. So there was no way any of that stuff was going to sell. Next, I think I took an offer here. I can't imagine that's what it's listed for, but who knows? Not me. On B four. Tupperware Jadeite Green Strainer. And I know there was, there's two of them and one was in better condition, but I took a picture of the worst one. That's how I do it. If I have a multi quantity and there's condition differences, like you can see there's a couple chunks missing there and there. What I'll do is I take pictures of the worst one. Therefore, when they get one that's better, how could you complain about that? $7.99 free shipping. If I don't have a perfect box for that, I might have messed myself over and it's going to actually cost me money. So let's hope not there. Spyro Year of the Dragon for PS1. So that should be... Oh, I, 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 I think maybe one of these... Here we go, yep. Spyro, Year of the Dragon, PS1, disc only, 934 free shipping. That does have to go first class. Next up, there's a lot of stuff, and luckily no really crazy packers. Just one that's going to take me a little time, but nothing too insane. Little Shop of Horrors, VHS. Little Shop of Horrors. Here we go. VHS. Oh, got a spider web. They'll get that for free. Um, no, I'll wipe it off. I'm kidding. $8.99 free shipping. And then here's the big money of the day. And also kind of a uh, lesson on this is one of those pricing something where just experience is the only reason that I, I got it right or maybe didn't get it right because it sold quickly within a week. Realistic VHS VCR. It's like also a cable box. Let me put these back while I'm here before I forget. It is this one here. Not going to pull it out just yet. Um, kind of dark back here. Sorry about that. Let's see if I can get some more light. Get this silly box out of the way. Uh, but yeah, Realistic is a, a fairly good brand. Um, but it also has like a cable box built in. Uh, there was something else about it. But I just, I was doing comps and there was, there was another version. This is the 3.4 PLL and it's like the 3.2 PLL. There was a lot of them sold and they all were selling around 50 to $70. And I found one sold for this one and it sold for, I think, 60. And then there was one listed for I think around 60 but it was for parts and so I priced this one $79.99 plus shipping and within a week sold no offers straight up sold with remote $79.99 plus $30 shipping so that's a great turnaround I paid oof I think I probably I paid less than five dollars I might have paid a buck it was in a big bundle deal with something else that sold today which so total I turned from the whole bundle, I've already turned twenty dollars into one hundred and forty. So, not including the other things I got, twenty dollars into one hundred and forty, pretty good. And within a week, week and a half, something like that. So, I got that one. And then next up, took an offer, Led Zeppelin, the best of, and it's a double disc, early days and later days, right there. And it's taking out a double disc. Most people sell them separately. So I said, I'm putting mine together. They will sell quickly. $11 free shipping. And how I've been doing it with CDs, if people buy more than one, is I pack them up in their individual CD boxes. And then I just tape the two boxes together and make its own new box. It works out great. And next up again, ba -ba -da -da, Lego Star Wars Advent Calendar, $40.99 plus shipping. After that, we've got Adam's Family VHS right here. 
That is a wonderful movie. Uh, $6.99 free shipping. And then this was the thing I was talking about where I bought something else, same place I bought the VCR. I don't know why I'm pointing over there. It's over there. Uh, but it is vintage, realistic, minimus, 7-watt, walnut speakers. And it is these right here. And they, I tested them out. The sound was fabulous. I was very tempted to keep them. But if I did, then I'd have to sell my other speakers and they're not worth as much. So I didn't want to do that. And, but they're not in great condition. You see there's some scratches in the venting, which in the cover, which you can't tell too much. But when you take it off, put it on something white, it shows really well. Scuffs on all of it. The pegs, there's a couple missing on, on the screen. So, But I, I disclosed that in the listing for all of it. And I, I think I had them priced $74.99. And they came, I think they offered $50. And I counter with $59.99 and they took it. So I, I, I think that's okay with me. I could have probably stuck it out and got closer to $74.99. Or I could have waited out till closer to Christmas and probably got the full price. But that quick flip from whatever that cost me, two, three bucks, maybe, maybe to $60 within a week. I'd rather have the cash, because then what do I do with that cash? I turn it into mo cash. A anybody ever watched, um, oh, what was that? It was like an SNL ripoff. Uh, In Living Color, there was a skit, and it was these two guys. They were always selling stuff out of the back of their van. Mo money, mo money, mo money. I was a child when I was watching that at one in the morning or whenever it came on FX. I shouldn't have been watching it, but I was. After that, we have Fisher, R-E-M, da-da-da-da-da, remote. Um, that will be... This is a lot of orders. My throat's starting to dry out on me. I think, I think Fisher's in this one. Yep, Fisher in this one. It's one of these. Not obvious, so I can't show you. And that is $9.99 free shipping. I love the remotes. I actually... Let me pull the last thing here before I... Oh, it's actually right here. Great. Canon LS100 TSG. And that is $11.99 free shipping. And the basket's getting a little empty, so I can start filling that one up again. But I went to the Humane Society sale again. There was one at the beginning of the year that was like their small one where they try to clear out their stuff from the year before. And then this was their big one. It... It was hectic and also torrential downpours at one point. So these buildings were already full of people, already overwhelming, already super hot. Everyone's in everybody's way, super grumpy. And then torrential downpours, so everyone has to flood into the buildings. So it got worse. Point of that story, I had to think for a second. Point of that story was while I was there, I did pick up, um, where are they at? Over here. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven remotes. So, and I was looking around to make sure they weren't to match up with things in the area or things, period. And there was nothing for them to go with. So either people had already bought the things they went with, whatever. But I picked up another seven remotes. I haven't really found any remotes lately. I also uh, re-upped on my Tupperware back stock. So this is quite the haul of Tupperware mostly lids, but there was also uh, a couple of the canister things, whatever, I can't remember what the pattern's called, but the these canister style, they definitely are worth good money. Uh, they come with the servalier lid, but there weren't matching lids for all of them. Actually, I think that lid goes to that one, so that's great. Uh, but it's it's definitely, it was it was a good, good pickup there. Some, some filler stuff, some higher end, all the above. Uh, I it, I already put it out in storage, but I also picked up eight or nine Pyrex lids. Again, I was looking for the bowls, containers that went with them. They weren't there, just the lids. And the lady was even like, oh, you got a lid collection? I said, if you got the bowls, I'll take them, but you don't. So lids it is. Um, what else did I get? There was some more koozies. Um, this right here. I had never heard of these before. Littonware. It's like a microwavable type of container, 
but it was looking like these are going for 10, 12 bucks a piece. I'd never heard of that before. I will definitely keep an eye out for that. What else did I get? I had just saw a, a video from the auction, not the auction professor, the something professor. I can't remember his name, but a, a YouTuber, he actually, I'm not a big fan of his channel, but I'm a big fan of the information he provides on his channel. And he was talking about puzzles. And this, this was one of the styles that he said to keep an eye out for these, these hexagon ones, you can get more money for them. So that was there. That was good. And a new puzzle. And then this right here, this broil master oven rack, uh, rotisserie rack. I actually have one of those for sale and it hasn't sold and it's I've had it for sale for a long time but what that one does is that allows me to lower the price on the one I have and put that one on the market so I'm I'm a fan of that where if something's not really selling what you do is you buy a second one for even cheaper then you lower the price then you're more likely to sell them this was the big score as far as I'm concerned not really money wise but maybe uh these are wiffle ball brand wiffle bats and depending on the year and the model that really um dictates the price because you'll see the the stamp on this one is different than the stamp on these two and i have to do some research to see which is which and what year they're from because there are actual wiffle ball wiffle ball leagues and for some reason you know they want the actual bats that makes sense i guess and depending on the year is depending on thickness and hitting ability or something. I don't know. But either way, that's like $100 in wiffle ball bat. So I was definitely pumped on that. Picked up uh, this little boom box. Don't know if it works. Picked up a Omnivision. Hope that works. Couple DVD VCR combos. It wasn't anything. There was no out of the park home run type thing. But it was definitely a lot of good stuff I know that will sell, filler, replace stuff that's selling on the shelves type of situation. Also, fun story, not even that fun. I don't know why I said fun story, it's not a fun story. Interesting story, sure. I was saying I never pre-pack stuff, I don't do it, I just don't like to, I don't know. I'm lazy, I guess, I don't know what it is. But these encyclopedias that have been sitting here in milk crates forever, I listed both sets, and I packaged both sets. This is one of them. The other one is already out in storage. I mean, patting myself on the back. Listed and packed and halfway out to storage. So that's that's a pretty good, pretty good day for Drew. And then that same day, I went to an estate sale, which there wasn't much. I picked up half of these at the charity sale and half of them at that estate sale. I got this... I paid five bucks for it. I'll get 12. It, it really, I was trying to pay for my gas. It was way out in the middle of nowhere. And, but this, I paid, I paid up for it. I paid 10 bucks, which I mean, that's not really paying up for it. But if this is fully functional, this is a hundred dollar plus super soaker. So definitely look out for your super soakers. They're a hot commodity. I don't know if they sell year round. I don't have that much experience selling them i've only sold one before ever but this this is one of the higher higher end ones i mean it's got the strap and i think it works i'm not positive but i pulled the trigger while i was there and water came out so i mean that's that's what that's how a squirt gun works right you pull the trigger water comes out so that's that's a decent flip right there i'm gonna try to get that listed maybe today maybe immediately because i gotta imagine the market for super soakers kind of dwindles as as it gets colder out but maybe, maybe it's not one of those uh, collectibles that that doesn't um, doesn't fade. People just buy them when they're available. I did buy a bunch of VHS while I was there, and well, I didn't buy them; they were giving them away. So I, but that's that's I don't have a tip of the day, but this will be my story of the day. So I'm there picking through the boxes because free VHS. I'm gonna at least look. And actually, before I left, this had sold. I packed that up. It was the only thing that sold. Friday. So I just packed it up and sent it out and didn't worry about waiting until the next week. I sold it. And when I went there, there was another one that was the same one. Weirdest thing though, the one I sold had these same like tear marking things, which now that I look are fake and part of the package. I thought it was ruined. All right. Well, that makes more sense. Um, but yeah, I had sold it. So I got another one, but the story 
here's the story, is I'm picking through the boxes and one of the volunteers there, which they're volunteers, it's not their stuff, it's donated stuff for a charity. He comes up and he goes, you can't pick through the boxes. You got to take the whole box. I said, well, that's stupid. <laughs> I didn't say that, but I'm like, well, I don't want the whole box. I don't even know what's in it. Some of these, some were like recorded. Like it could have been somebody's family picnic or Christmas or recorded off TV or a NASCAR race. I don't want any of that. And so I'm like, well, then I don't want any because I'm, I'm not going to take, it's pouring out. I'm not going to walk the very far distance back to my car with 20 boxes just so I can hopefully find a couple I want. And, and he's like, well, well then just, and he was being mean. He was being aggressive. He's like, he's like, well then just make sure you, you put them back. Oh, okay. I'm that type of person. I'm going to do that anyways. He doesn't know that, but I'm also not a child. Like I'm, if I was, you know, 14, 16, I could see how he's, you know, trying to make sure that I don't make a mess. Maybe may I could see that, but I'm a grown man. Like, okay, old man. Uh, I, uh, and at this point, I'm mad because I've, I've been in this 100 degree airline hangar for two and a half hours. I'm sweaty. This is the end of my trip. I'm thinking about walking back to my car anyways, but I'm like, I'm going to pick through these. They're free. I might as well find it, see if I can find a couple. And then he proceeds to stand directly next to me. And I'm talking, say this is him. This is me. He's standing here and he was short too. I'm, I'm short, but he was short. So it was, I thought that was humorous, and, but he was standing next to me aggressively. Like, like, and I, I turned to him eye to eye. I'm like, are you just going to stand there and watch me? That doesn't seem like a good use of your time. Cause they're supposed to be there, like taking people's money and reorganizing things and helping people. It's a voluntary charity sale for charity. And this guy's just in my face. And I, I was fuming because at this point, I'm not only just like tired and over it, I'm insulted and like a high, high level. And this guy was just in my face over VHS tapes, VHS tapes, which if he would have let me sort through them, this is how many I ended up taking. Um, but if you would have let me actually sort through the boxes, I would have taken 10 times this amount. Because there was a lot of stuff I did want, but I was so mad at this point that I said, you can throw... Because that's, that's what he was trying to tell me. He's like, we'll just take the box. If you don't want them, you can throw them away. I'm like, so I'm going to take it home, sort through it there, and then throw it in my trash that I have to pay for. So therefore, it costs me money to take them. I'm like, that's... That logic is silly. And I ended up talking to a lady later on because I'm not going to like hold a grudge against them or whatever. Maybe he was having a bad day. Maybe his blood pressure was off and he forgot to take his medication. I don't know. But but I was like, you're not going to get anybody to take just full boxes all day because they, they just don't know what's in them. I mean, some of them were full of like clamshell stuff like this. But then some of them, like I said, were half you know, a couple movies that you recognize and then half recorded VHS. So what, which actually I could have taken all those because you can sell those. People use them to record over top of blah, blah, blah. But I didn't want to mess with that. I just, I just couldn't believe it. I, I, the, uh, the audacity. <laughs> I don't use that, that word very often, but that that's a fitting spot for it. The audacity of this man to get in my face over free VHS at a charity garage sale that he's a volunteer at. So I don't know. I'm glad uh, Angry August is over or almost over, be over tomorrow. But I, I just, I just, I couldn't believe it. Which I don't know, is that a thing everywhere? Angry August? I know it's just because it's the hot month, hottest month in most places, most humidity in a lot of places, that kind of thing. But I used to work on a place called Mackinac Island. It's a vacation destination and the workers there they all when it's it's newbies you're like warning people hey angry august it's coming up everyone gets mad people hate that they're on vacation families are on vacations that they really can't afford but they're doing it anyways because it's the last trip before school and then they get some place that is extraordinarily overpriced and they have no options. You're on an island. So they're just mad. And they, you know what they take it out on? Fudge makers, bike rentals, wait staff, bartenders, 
carriage drivers. Yeah, take it out on the people who are trying to do their job and have help have you make help give you a good experience. You know, just a insight to my life personal story but i am definitely rambling at this point and i need to get to work so that's gonna be all for this one i hope you enjoyed it if you did give it a thumbs up if you didn't go ahead and give it a thumbs down subscribe share and be good to each other